This past week, we passed 100,000 followers on Instagram. I think we're actually already pushing 110,000, which is just crazy. Now, this took a lot of time and a lot of hard work, so I've kind of been reflecting on this milestone a bit, and there's really three main takeaways that I have on how I grew from zero all the way up to 100,000 followers. So no matter if you're trying to grow your own personal brand, whether that be on Instagram or really any platform, or even if you're trying to grow another brand, I think you will find value in this video, and I truly think this could help one of you out there as well. Now, now, if you're looking for an in-depth video on my exact strategy on how to grow on Instagram, I have a couple videos dedicated to exactly that. I will have them linked down in the description. Today's video is going to be more of a podcast style where I'm just sharing some of my raw and honest thoughts with you guys and my biggest takeaways on achieving this milestone. So sit back, relax, make sure you guys drop this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Maybe crack open a cold one and let's jump right into it. So my first takeaway from this entire experience is really my mindset. Whether I had a hundred followers or a hundred thousand followers, I treated my page and my brand exactly the same. Now, of course, my more recent content is better, more polished, and looks a little bit elevated from my original stuff, but I'm talking my actual mindset on how I approach my content. Now, I've been doing creative work now for 10 plus years, so even when I started kind of like my personal content journey with my Instagram page, I already had a pretty good skill set going into it, but I always approached my content like I already had 100,000 followers. I tried to have that amount of confidence when I was talking to the camera. I would try to bring that much value to my followers at the time. And something that I've always prided myself in is the fact that I think you could put me toe to toe with pretty much anybody. And that's not intended to come off as arrogant. That's just me actually being confident in my work because I know I put in the amount of reps for it. I don't know if you guys have ever received one of those comments before where someone watches your content and they're like, man, I thought you would have had 500,000 followers or a million followers, that type of stuff, right? And it's so true because when someone's scrolling on Instagram or on Reels, wherever, they don't instantly see how many followers you have. They're going to just see your piece of content and that's their first impression of you. So I've always prided myself in being very detail oriented. You know, I'm making sure I'm touching up my photos or I'm lint rolling my shirt before I film something. Because again, if I had a giant audience and I had a large platform, those little tiny details matter. And to me, they mattered again, whether I had a hundred thousand followers or just a hundred. And I could say the same right now. We're sitting at 110,000, but to me, the quality of my content and the way I approach my page almost as a business, right? To me, I could have a million and there's really not a shift in what my quality would have to be or the way I'm approaching the audience or how I'm trying to bring value to other creators. I'm just doing me the best way I know how, always trying to go above and beyond, be very detail oriented, make sure my stuff is polished, it looks professional. And to me, that's really important to do at any stage of your growth. So don't put yourself in a box. Don't act like you're a small creator and it's gonna help you in so many ways, I promise. So my next biggest takeaway is that sometimes Sometimes there's going to have to be sacrifices made. Now this could be a polarizing point and I know for a fact some people would disagree with me. I'm just talking firsthand for myself what has worked for me with my experience. Now I am someone who has a full-time creative job. I am working 40 to 60 hours a week. That does not count my personal content whatsoever. So my free time or my time outside of work is limited. So unfortunately that means for me to be able to be consistent and be able to put out a lot of content and be able to put time into my content, some sacrifices do have to be made. A good example of this is late last year, we had a multiple day shoot across the country. And I think it was the week that the new iPad Airs came out. And so my iPad got delivered while I was on that shoot. And then we had a full shoot day. I flew home. I think I landed back here at like 10 PM or something. I walked in my door and I made myself sit down and film an unboxing video on that new iPad. Now I will tell you right now, the last thing I wanted to do after a couple shoot days flying across the country was to sit down and film and edit some content that night. But here's the thing. I told myself I was going to get that video out on whatever that next day was. And so I held myself accountable to that. And guess what? The video turned out great. It did really well. And it kind of sharp that discipline for myself where I was like, okay, you know what? I can do this and it is worth it. You know, I think the sacrifice idea and discipline kind of go hand in hand. And it's something where, you know, I have tons of friends that are creators, right? And some of them might say, oh, you know, well, I had a really busy week, so I was just drained. I didn't want to make anything. Or, you know, I just didn't have any free time this week to sit down and create stuff, right? And then an hour or two later, you hear them talking about how they binged an entire show that weekend, or they were out drinking four nights in a row. And then you kind of have to ask yourself, okay, you know, 
do you actually not have any time to do these things or is it just actually not a priority? Now, I'm not saying you should not have a social life or not do anything for fun or just relax sometimes. You need to have some sort of balance for your mental health, for your relationships. All that stuff is extremely important. All I'm saying is that there are going to be some times where it's worth pushing yourself a little bit further than you would love to. Maybe you have to turn down a couple things so you can work on content. Maybe you have to stay up late one night so you can work on some stuff. Or maybe you're only gonna be able to watch two or three episodes of that show with your partner instead of literally just sitting on the couch your entire Sunday and doing nothing productive. Like I said, this might be a polarizing point and some people might not agree with me, but for me personally, this is 100% a key factor on how I got to where I am. You do have to be able to balance things for your life, mental health, everything. But I challenge you to really take a step back and look at the way that you're spending your time and are there any ways to be a little bit more productive and to help get yourself a little bit more ahead of the crowd. And that kind of leads me into my third point. And that is the fact that consistency is undefeated. Now let's think of anyone, right? Maybe picture your favorite creator right now. Think about how often they're putting out content. I'm gonna assume it's somewhat pretty consistent. Maybe you see their stuff once a week. Maybe it's every day, every few days. In this day and age that we live in, most people that are seeing a lot of success with their content, especially seeing growth with their content, is at least pretty consistent. Now being consistent can lead to so many things. Number one, the more stuff you make, obviously the better and better your stuff's going to become, as well as you're gonna become faster at actually creating it too. And then number two, it's just more chances for your content to get out there. Maybe it's just more eyeballs, or maybe it could open more doors to opportunities, or maybe it just gives you more chances to get some traction on your content. Maybe those could go viral. If you have 10 posts or 100 posts, tell me which one is gonna have a higher chance to get some traction and to get some growth out of it. I talk about batch shooting all the time. I usually once a week, maybe sit down and create a few pieces of content. I batch shoot together and then I can edit it throughout the rest of my week whenever my schedule kind of allows time for it. And that is a sacrifice, that is a choice, and it all kind of leads to the same thing. And consistency is not only for creators, right? You look at anyone in any field. Take a look at that poster behind me, okay? I'll actually put an image of it up on the screen so you guys can see it, but it's actually my favorite Kobe Bryant quote. Now he was known for his work ethic. We're talking about getting to the gym at 5 a.m. before anybody else, staying after games to get shots up to just get better, being in the weight room literally the day after a championship to start getting better for the next season. Now go ahead and take a wild guess as to how Kobe Bryant helped separate himself from the crowd. I'll tell you right now, when he first entered the league all the way to when he ended, he thought he was the best person on that court, which ties exactly back to my first point. Whether you're at 100 followers or 100,000 followers, you're treating it the same. And then to tie in my second point, you already know that man sacrificed a ton of his free time and a ton of opportunities or had to turn down other things because he was working on his craft, which again, easily helped separate him from the crowd. And you're talking to someone that's literally at the top of the game and they're still making sacrifices to just get to the next level even more. And whether you're talking year one versus year 20, that man was consistent with his work ethic the entire way. So all these takeaways aren't just for a creator. They aren't just for someone growing on Instagram. A lot of it is just what's ingrained me to see success, not only on a social platform, but in so many other facets as well. So guys, those are really my three biggest takeaways on how I achieved 100,000 followers on Instagram. And I just wanna give a quick shout out to all of you for the insane support on everything. The YouTube channel is growing. Obviously, Instagram has been popping off and I know you guys are over there as well. And it really is a milestone that I'm really proud of and it's something that took me a long time to get here. I spent a lot of hours, a lot of time on this content to not only make it good, but to also try to bring value to all of you as well. I think it took me about 500 posts on Instagram to get to that number. So don't get discouraged if you're just starting out and you aren't seeing these numbers quite yet. It takes time, it takes discipline, it takes a lot of reps to kind of not only get better, but to also see some traction. So keep posting, keep pushing. And I'm telling you, if you think about some of these takeaways and take a look at how you're approaching your own content, you're going to see some success in what you do. Oh yeah, one more thing about the 100K. We actually are giving away a camera. It's this right here. A brand new Sony ZV-1 Mark II. So I guess we should go ahead and announce the winner. And if you didn't win this giveaway, be sure you're following me over on Instagram and make sure you're staying tuned to this channel because we're gonna be doing another giveaway very soon. All right, so announcing the giveaway winner. It's Friday, so we're in Charlotte. Big Rob, Big E. But the giveaway winner is my dude Titus Holm. So a hey. young aspiring uh, photographer just using his phone right now and wants a camera to kind of give him a boost. So going to a perfect home, I'll put his info on the screen. So shout out to Titus. That's the giveaway winner. So 
Let's go! We're Let's grass, go, baby. Baby. We're gonna go celebrate now. But guys, that is going to be it for me. I hope you found some value in today's video and thank you again for just all the insane support. If you guys liked today's video, please drop it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel as well. And I will catch you guys in the next video very, very soon. Peace, guys.